This video shows you how to configure a Microsoft SCOM adapter instance in a vCenter Operations Manager vApp installation. This video assumes that you've already downloaded the Microsoft SCOM adapter pack file from the VMware FTP site and installed the file in your vCenter Operations Manager vApp. You use the custom user interface to create an instance of the SCOM adapter. First, select Environment and Configuration and Adapter Instances. Next, click the Add New Adapter Instance icon to add a new adapter instance. You begin by selecting a collector for the adapter instance. Most installations have only one collector, which is called vCenter Operations Standard Server. The adapter kind for a SCOM adapter instance is called MS SCOM Adapter. After you select the collector and adapter kind, you're ready to define the SCOM adapter instance. Each SCOM adapter instance must have a unique name. This name identifies the adapter instance in the user interface, so make sure it's descriptive. Database host is either the host name or IP address of the SCOM database host, and database port is the port to use to connect to that database. 1433 is the default port for Microsoft SQL Server. Database name is the name of the database that contains the source data. In this example, the database name is Operations Manager. If you enable auto discovery, the data collection process discovers new objects from SCOM and creates resources for you in vCenter Operations Manager. You typically enable auto discovery. If you disable auto discovery, you must use manual discovery to create resources. A SCOM adapter instance must have a credential to connect to the SCOM database. You can select an existing credential or you can add a new credential. Here, I'm selecting a previously added credential. Click the Test button to test the connection to the SCOM database, and then click OK. Click OK again to save the adapter instance configuration. After the test finishes, the new SCOM adapter instance appears in the adapters list. You can also see the SCOM adapter on the Environment Overview page. Select Environment and Environment Overview, and then select the collector for the adapter instance. After the SCOM adapter instance imports objects from SCOM through auto or manual discovery, it begins to collect data for those resources. Here I'm using a dashboard called SCOM Objects that I created previously to view the metrics that the adapter instance collects for SCOM resources. You can see the SCOM resources in the Resources pane. In this example, the resources include Windows computers and SQL servers. When I click on a Windows computer resource, I can view operating system metrics in the metric selector pane. When I select an operating system metric, I can see the data that the adapter instance is collecting. Here, I'm selecting the processor queue length, pages per second, and percent memory used metrics. In the metric graph pane, I can select time ranges to see metrics that the SCOM adapter instance collects during specific time periods. Here, I'm selecting the previous time periods. This feature is useful if you're trying to identify trends or patterns. For example, in this example, you can see that the percent memory used is higher at certain times of day. Next, I'm selecting three SQL servers. The metric selector changes to show the metrics that the adapter instance is collecting for all three SQL servers. This time, when I select a metric, the metric graph pane shows the same metric for the three different SQL servers. The gray band is the dynamic threshold, and the blue line is the collected metric. The orange dots indicate the peaks and valleys for the presented period. When I click Split Graphs, the user interface unsplits the graphs, and I can see all three metrics overlaid on the same graph. So I can now compare the metrics across all three SQL servers. For more information about configuring adapters, go to pubs.vmware.com.